Hello YouTube, before I start this video I just want to say everything I'm pricing on here is on Amazon so if you guys can easily check that out. Um, I don't know uh, how the pricing varies to the day uh, you're watching it to the day I released it so keep that in mind. Hello YouTube, today I'm doing an AMD budget build. This build is about $350. Uh, I do not require to use to you use previous components. Everything is built from here. Uh, I try to budget everything out equally, so one thing's not more powerful than the other. Everything's well balanced, and hope you guys enjoy. Our first product for the build is the CPU slash graphics card, more or less an APU advanced processing unit. This right here is an A8350 provided by AMD's Lano series. It is a quad core and runs at 2.9 gigahertz. And what an APU does is combine extreme graphical performance within the processor opposed to Intel processors with which have Intel HD graphics. This performs four times better than that if you have a Pentium dual core, Celeron dual core, uh, Core i3, Core i5, Core i7. This performs so much better. It is at $100. This is great for an home entertainment system and also provides for a decent gaming rig. This will play the latest high-end games out there, Battlefield 3, Skyrim, Crisis, and of course Call of Duty, uh, maxed out settings, no problem. Again, it's only $100, terrific value, highly suggest it. And if you want to spend the extra $10, you can go with an AMD A83870K. Uh, this processor is very similar to the A83850, except it is unlocked. Unlock processors allow you to overclock it. Overclocking uh, allows you to exceed the processor's performance, um, like upgrading the gigahertz of the processor. Uh, as long as you know your temperatures, uh, you're good at overclocking. Um, you know how to not blow your processor up, I guess you could say. Um, so I highly suggest that too. Uh, so, next product. And of course, to go with your processor, you're going to need an FM1 socket motherboard. And this right here is a BIOSAR AMD F1, FM1 socket A75 chipset MOBO. It is pretty good quality. It's priced around $70. Uh, as you see here, it has four slots for your RAM, so you can add on a lot to it. Uh, it is micro ATX. It does give you a decent amount of room to add on and upgrade. It has six times SATA or SATA SATA whatever you want to call it six gigabyte connectors which is great for your hard drives if you're planning on using a lot of storage it has it also has two PCI times 16 slots of course you're only going to most likely use one though considering the amount of room you have space and especially if you're integrating it with your processor to add on uh, to get better graphic performance I also really like this motherboard because it has an HDMI output, and for $70, you can't go wrong with that. It also has a DVI, uh, D-Sub. It also has four USB outputs, and it's 3.0 support, which is great. And for hard drives, it supports RAID 0, 1, and 10. But of course, this is not a server build. It's a home entertainment slash low uh, gaming ring for, rig for you guys. So we're not going to have to worry about that. A pair of two DDR3 Kingston Hyper Blue memory sticks should do the trick. This RAM runs at 1600 megahertz, uh, which will help out our APU. You can get these for about $30 on Amazon. Overall, they deliver good performance. I recommend them. Please get them. The price is right for the value. Our next product is the hard drive, and it is one of the most expensive. It is a Western Digital Caviar Blue. It is 500 gigabytes uh, SATA 3 and runs at 7200 rotations per minute also has a uh, 16 megabytes of cache this is our ODD drive optical disk drive it is twenty dollars ace is twenty four times speed DVD RW um, nothing special of course but has a cool exterior finish and pretty good value this case right here is a Rosewell R218P BK 450 watt ATX mid tower computer case the case material is made out of SECC steel. It does come with a power supply, and that power supply runs at 450 watts and is mounted on the top. Uh, the power supply main connector is a 20 plus 4 pin. It is compatible with micro ATX uh, motherboards. No side panel window. Uh, the dimensions are 17.5 times 7.5 times 16.3. It's nothing big or exotic. It does have four expansion slots. Uh, this case is a bit more default. Uh, pretty good air cooling. It has one rear 
vent and that is a 120 millimeter fan uh, side air duct of course in the front this case has your default two USB ports and your headphone jack and microphone jack of course you're taking a sacrifice getting the 450 watt uh, power supply with the case but it works very well and I suggest it for any budget build you do so there you have it this was my three hundred fifty dollar budget build for AMD it's the Kippy uh, I'm gonna go now so thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe